What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in the last two videos, we took a look at how you can install Flutter on your machine, and then we walked through how you can install Xcode and run your Flutter apps on an iOS simulator and on your iPhone. In this video, we're going to take a look at doing the same thing, but with Android Studio and Android phones. The first thing that we need to do is actually install Android Studio. So once again, from the Flutter uh, dev docs, you can find this link, you can click it and go to the Android Studio download page. Just go ahead and download the latest version. Next up, you're going to just want to start it. So unzip it, open it, move it to your applications folder, and just walk through the setup wizard. So I already have Android Studio installed, so I do not need to do this, but it's fairly self-explanatory. Just walk through the setup process. So the first thing we're going to do is look at how you can set up and run a Flutter app on your physical device. So we need to do a couple of things to pair this run. First, you need to go into your settings and enable developer options and USB debugging. So this process will be slightly different depending on what phone you have, but regardless, you should be able to go into settings and search for developer options. Or I know on the Pixel, you have to go into settings and go to the bottom where your version is, where your version is and then tap that like 10 times and that will enable dev uh, developer options. Once that is enabled, you want to also enable USB debugging. So if you need help with that, uh, go ahead and go to this link here. That should walk you through. All right, so after you have that enabled, you can plug in your phone with a USB cable. Make sure it is a debugging cable. Not all of them will work. And then once you have that plugged in, you can simply go ahead to your terminal, wherever your app is, and you can simply type flutter and run. And as long as your phone is the only device or simulator connected, it will run it on that device. So mine is not connected right now, so I'm not going to be doing that, but it should work for you. So that's running on a physical device, pretty easy. Just enable all of the options, plug it in and run it. To run it on an Android emulator is a bit more involved. So first, we need to open up Android Studio. So go to HUD and open that up. And then when you're on this page, there are two options. You can A, open your project up, and then configure the emulator, or you can do it without a project. So I'm going to do it that way and not add my project in. So I'm going to come down here to configure. And if you click that, a bunch of things pop up. So what we want is this AVD manager. So we'll click that and that will bring us to a page where we can see all of the virtual devices. So I have one right now, it's a Pixel 2 XL, but you probably don't have any. So let's go ahead and create one. We're going to go down here and click create virtual device. Now there's a bunch of devices that you can create. So let me just, uh, let me just create this one right here. So let me just create this uh, device here, the Nexus One. Will it next? So right now it has the uh, Android version Q. That is fine. We'll hit next. And I'm not going to rename it. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to keep that. And so once you have all that set up, just click finish. And there we go. We have our device. Now, once we have that device created, we can go over here to the right and click this play button, which as you can see by the pop-up will launch this AVD in the emulator. So let me click that up. There we go. So this is an older device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Pixel 2 XL. All right, there we go. So as you can see, the Pixel opens up. 
and you can make it a little bigger by dragging it like that. There we go. So here's our device. Now to run the app, we can simply go to your terminal and you want to navigate to your project directory. So if you type ls, I, you can see I have all my project files. If you do not have a project, remember you can use the flutter create command to create a project. So I'm just going to type flutter run. And when I hit enter, it should automatically run to this device because this is the only simulator I have activated. All right, and it looks like it did pick up that Android device. Okay, and there we go. Looks like it built successfully. See all of our commands here. And just like we did with the iOS device, we can come here and we can use our app. I'll hit control C to stop it. All right, so that was steps one through seven and how you can set up the Android emulator and run your Flutter app. So that's all for today's video. Just to recap, we downloaded Android Studio, created a Android emulator, ran our Flutter app on the Android emulator, and also configured our mobile device to run the Flutter app on that as well. So in the next video, we are going to finish off this mini series by configuring a development environment in VS Code. So we're going to take everything we learned so far and add to that and create a, a nice environment in VS Code that we can use to develop Flutter apps nice and easy.